Oh great, I did another video with something stuck on my face or something in my hair. What the heck is that? Uh, please don't let that distract you throughout the video. Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing a trailer discussion video on the Avengers Endgame trailer number three. I did get my Fandango tickets as everybody has seen in their iPhone or somewhere pop up to get your tickets for this movie. And uh, yeah, so Charlita Juan and I have our tickets for opening night. I'm very excited for that. The only thing that kind of sucks is that we're like the second from the first row, but hey, I'm happy I got the tickets. I'm gonna see it probably multiple times in the theater anyway. So that's gonna be my first viewing. The second one, I definitely wanna see 3D IMAX. So I figured we'd watch this new trailer together and I'm gonna pause it in certain parts, just talk about specific things uh, that came to mind. And I just wanna watch it again with you guys. I really enjoyed this trailer quite a bit. So much more than the last trailer that we had seen. And I feel like in the last trailer, we actually saw more than what we're seeing in this trailer over here, but there's definitely more emotion in this one. So let's go ahead and take a watch. And if you want to watch the trailer yourself without me, you can check it out, link below. But here we go. If we do this, we'd be going in short-handed. Yeah, you mean because he killed all our- Okay, so again, the ever so uh, resistant and timid Bruce Banner, kind of reluctant to go for this again. I think that's I, that just plays exactly right into what we've already seen, you know, and I kind of feel like that's kind of leading us into, I have a feeling we're gonna see Smart Hulk in this. So, you know, with Hulk and Banner both being reluctant, maybe they might be merging into one, but yeah. Rudy, killed all our friends. Killed all our friends. We owe this to everyone who's not in this room to try. Guy of Captain America. It's not about how much we lost. And then Rocket bonding with another blue person. And I'm just saying, but yeah, it just I like this moment right here though because they're both have emotional attachment to the same people, so they at least have each other. And then we definitely get Pepper Potts. Uh, we have for those of you ha who haven't heard, Rescue Armor should be in this movie, so we're gonna see uh, Pepper Potts uh, in a suit doing some stuff. So I'm excited for that. That's something that should be. Very interesting to see. It's about how much we have left. And then just seeing Iron Man flying around in the daytime again with this new suit. I am really excited about this new suit, man. I like this. Th this looks really cool. It reminds me of classic Iron Man where you have the torso red and then the limbs all the way up to the forearms are gold. The thighs are all gold. Very classic looking Iron Man suit. Uh, it looks like it's based off the Mark 50 still. So is this Mark 51? I don't know. And if that was already announced, which Mark it was then? Uh, I, I didn't see that, but yeah, looks very cool. Stormbreaker oh, right next to her freaking head and she just Trust smirks. Me. Yeah, so that's not all the Avengers right there. One thing I was noticing is that Rocket's suit is very, uh, it, it looks like he has a new suit. So I don't know if somebody, you know, I'm guessing Tony tailored that for him or something. But we're seeing Hawkeye, War Machine, Iron Man, Captain America, Nebula, Rocket, Ant-Man, and Black Widow all in one scene. There's no Bruce Banner over here. So I wonder who they're looking at. It could be Bruce Banner. Uh, could very well be um, Captain Marvel. So, yeah, Captain Marvel's not in the shot either. I, I don't think I'm forgetting anybody. I think it's just Bruce Banner and Captain Marvel are the two that are missing from the shot right here. You trust me. I do. Oh, man. Oh, I love that shot. I just want to go back to that because, damn it, I think... There's so much, I feel like there's so much emotion in this shot right over here. The other thing too that makes me really excited about this is that I always like seeing Captain America just being a little bit taller than Tony Stark. And not only that, but um, I really like, it's just this thing where Chris Evans' face that has just, he doesn't look old. The dude's the same age as me. He doesn't look old, but he's kind of aged into the role of Captain America a little bit more. I don't know. There's just something about that look. I think like the lines right here in his face are just a little bit more defined. He just looks like he's been through stuff. I think these actors are just pulling this stuff off right here so so well that I, I really feel the emotion of the characters. And you can see that in his eyes, there's just so much more going on here than the, the squabbles that they've had in the past. I do. 
and that handshake, I, that is a, ah, that, that, <laughs> I don't know why, but that, for me, that was like the money shot of the trailer is the freaking handshake. I just, it's bam, right there. Uh, I'm very, very pumped for this. Milano flying out into outer space, and they do not have quantum suits. They don't have quantum suits, or the silver or white suits that we'd seen in the previous trailer. They're not wearing those, so they should not be spacesuits, right? That would be ridiculous unless they put the spacesuits space on, all got into the Milano, and then all took their spacesuits off, you know? So quantum suits is pretty much where, where I'm thinking they're going with that. And then the other thing here is the picture of Tony and Peter. That's very cute. I like that a lot. Very sad though, because that was like really the most touching, the, the, the most painful death for us to see in Infinity War. So seeing the two of them right over here, that brings back emotions and everything. So that's really cool. Can't live with your own failure. You can't live with your own failure. What did that bring you? All the reaction shots. Back to me. Okay, so one thing I want to mention is, okay, the way... All that light coming down on Thanos confuses me just a little bit because it, it that's how Thor that, that that's how Thor travels with the Bifrost, right? So uh, it's not necessarily how the Space Stone makes him travel. He kind of gets a warp hole right behind him and just falls right into it, right? That's how that usually goes. But um, yeah, so that confused me just a little bit. But at, so I don't know if like Thor manages to like pull Thanos out from somewhere or what but I don't know how he's being transported right here because I'm guessing it's not through the Infinity Stone or maybe he has his own device I don't know because the Infinity Gauntlet is is broken or something but yeah so that's like weirds me out just a not little bit me. and then you see this shot right here man ah damn it I love it Okay, so you have Thanos with no helmet on, with his balancing propeller weapon thing, just sitting there, and we get our big three. And artistically, I just love this visual right here. It's, oh, God, because you're, you're just seeing butts, and <laughs> you just see butts down, and you can tell who everybody is. You have Captain America's shield right there. You can make out the boots. Iron Man, you can see the repulsor lights right there in the palms. And then, of course, with Thor, it's just going to be that column of a cape. And I don't know why I just geek out really hard off of this shot. It's been a while since we've seen the big three together. We've never seen the big three face off Thanos together at once. So that's going to happen here. And I am just losing it, man. I'm very, very pumped for this. Oh, man. Yes. Tickets on sale now. All right, I bought my tickets already. So yeah, that's that, you guys. It may seem like I'm, I'm like making a lot out of not that much, but for me, I feel a lot of emotion in this trailer. I really felt this trailer a lot. I really, really enjoyed it. I cannot wait for this movie. I got my tickets already. Um, my favorite part of the trailer was the handshake and that final shot at the end of the three of them facing off with Thanos. So I want to know what you guys think. Let me know. I should have another action figure review for you guys later today, and I'll catch you later. Peace! Hey, you can show Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.